Hello, this is Keith Elwin of Carlsbad, California, and we are about to watch Game 2 of the 2011 Pinburg Finals, and this will be on Taxi, my favorite games growing up. Up is Keith Elwin. Now, your Taxi skills shot could be worth up to 100,000 times while in play. But actually, what I'm trying to do here is spot passenger. I can work my way to the jackpot. First jackpot, uh, it's a lot easier to get to. So subsequent jackpots are much harder. Uh, there's only one passenger lit at a time. So what I try to do is use the spot passenger. Uh, after ball two and ball three, when the skill shot starts becoming worth 200, 300,000, then I'll start trying to go for those. But right here, you'll see me trying to do a lot of the uh, spot passengers on the skill shot. Here's a lock. All right, found it. So right now I got two passengers down. We're doing nothing but skill shots. Uh, that's a strategy I like to use on taxi, especially in a tournament where you're just trying for quick points. Balls and one flipper, taxis a two ball and multi ball. And that was a terrible prey ball separation attempt. Uh, managed to get an in lane out of it. Now, in this game, the in lane rubbers were removed, supposedly to make it harder, but in my opinion, it, it doesn't make that much of a difference. It makes the in lane wider as well as the out lane. So, uh, it's kind of a catch 22. Personally, I thought this was not as drainy as it could have been. multi-ball attempt, though I did get an expressway, which is uh, worth 300000 None of the airports for 100000 So right now I need one more passenger to light jackpot. And the way these tournament settings are, uh, jackpot's a million, it barely goes up. So it's about as balanced as you can make when the System 11 uh, shared jackpot games. Um, Papa crew did an outstanding job setting this up. And there's a reject on the jackpot. The taxi's famous for that. Uh, and now we lock the ball. We'll try to spot Maryland. Maryland is definitely the toughest passenger to pick up. There's a deadly drop target, so if you can nail it on the skill shot like here, uh, it's a much safer strategy. We're going to multi ball again. And Took a pot shot at the jackpot, I missed. Uh, jackpot's over with. Oh, taxi in that left, left uh, ramp. You want to make it. Uh, if you only get half a ramp shot, you're looking at an uh, easy green. This one is especially brutal because it was so steep. So here I'm going to try to pick off the uh, Maryland targets. I need to pick up a passenger or to relight lock, so I'm basically forced to shoot these deadly targets at this point. And as you can see, I'm trying to just raise the sides of them. Trying to be as safe as possible. And there's another jackpot attempt. Oh, brick. Close pass on taxi are not that easy, as you can see. And that was, yeah, that was lucky there. That was a terrible attempt. going on here. There's the lock shot. Let's see if we can try to spot passenger again and light that jackpot. There it is. Ball under control, take a nice control shot. Oop, miss. There it is. The jackpot was worth just a little over a million. So this way it's fair for everybody. Uh, normally taxi you find out in the field the jackpot's usually around four million. Uh, because it's so easy to build up. Uh, the way this is set up you know, it takes a long time. Mm -hmm. 
notice the, uh, there's a famous taxi bug. <laughs> it kicks ball the express lane. If you kick it right back in there, it'll start the uh, countdown, but it'll kick the ball back out as well. So that's kind of what happened to me. I kind of got caught off guard by that. Lost the ball. See, now the passengers are on hard. Only one is lit at a time. Pretty much takes the jackpot off the table at this point. I will not be aiming at all these passengers in this city. Right now, at this point, it's pretty much going to be multi ball, try to get your expressways and your, uh, your 100,000 ramps. Third passenger, so. At this point, you keep an eye on the passengers, but I'm still not going to be aiming at the Maryland target anytime soon. If I can pick her up on a skill shot here, then I can do Gorby and relight the jackpot. Yep, that was too hard. Now we're at 4x bonus. The bonus in this game actually be pretty big to uh, 5 times 99,000, which. Uh, that's half a jackpot right there, so especially in a finals tournament game, that, that could be pretty big. Next up is Jason Werdrick. Let's see what he does on the skill shot. As you can see, uh, I left the ball locked for him, and this game you can steal locks, so he's got multi-ball already lit. And he's testing out the spring on the plunger, trying to lock into that skill shot, but if I remember correctly, a full plunge gets you 75,000, so uh, not much worry about going over on this particular skill shot. Jason finds the spot passenger skill shot right off the bat. Uh, apparently he's testing the left flipper. I don't know. <laughs> and there's a nice shot to the ramp to start multi-ball. Oh, and a quick drain. Oh, and a quick double drain. Wow. Yeah, that uh, left ramp is deadly. If you don't make it all the way around, be prepared. Now we have Robert Gagnon. Let's see what Robert does for his skill shot. And a very soft plunge and 5,000. Um, hopefully he's just testing out where it is and a very nice live catch there. And uh, Robert's attempting to do a post pass, which is very difficult on this guy. Oh, and there's a drain on a lock shot on the fly. That lock shot's tougher than it looks. Uh, especially with the yellow rubbers around it. Uh, it could be quite deadly. Here's Keith Johnson. Keith does another soft plunge, just like Robert did, and gets the uh, 10,000. Almost got the spot passenger. It's a nice little drop catch. And perfect lock shot, first try. Now Keith knows where the uh, spot passenger shot is, and uh, looks like he'll be using that same strategy. Oh, it's that ramp shot. Let's see if he passes the ball over. Yeah, good. Well, almost a good. Probably wanted to let it settle a little bit. Uh, this ramp, left ramp on this game is really steep, and you need a good shot. Anything towards the tip of the flipper isn't going to get it done. He's collecting his shots. This other ramp. Up. Oh, there's another drain. We'll count them. We'll count them and see how many uh, balls are left or half ramp shots. But uh, at this point, if uh, you see the ball coming down that left ramp, you got to be prepared to slap, save, shove the game, whatever you can, because it's not very friendly. 
myself. Got the spot passenger. We got Marilyn, the toughest one out of the way. So now she's Gorby, which normally isn't very tough, but this game seems to reject the ladders of a live catch. And that's safe. <laughs> Looks like I didn't follow my own advice, but that, uh, man. That ramp. What can I say? Here's Jason with the ball, too. That ball has been locked for all four players now. Nobody's been able to release it, so uh, let's see if Jason can release it. And Jason gets the 50,000 skill shot times two, so that's 100. Uh, at this point, in a close battle like players two, three, and four, that every point helps. There's a nice, very nice post pass by Jason. It's the first successful one I've seen on this game. Right now, Jason's just trying to get the ball under control, and there's the same uh, pass over. The pass over is not working well. And he's uh, got a little more of a bump there. He tried a little bit of a bump, and here we go with the deadly ramp. Oh, see, Jason shook the machine. Very nice, very nice. That's what you got to do. You got to be prepared. And that was a, kind of a pseudo post pass, but it got the job done. And there's the multi ball. And Jason just got robbed of a Gorby shot. Oh, and a quick multi-ball, no, uh... But we did pick up Jackpot, or, uh, Pinbot. So, uh, now he's got Lock lit. Uh, he's collected one passenger, so, uh, I'm assuming he's going for Drac here, yep. Pick up Drac, and let's see if he shoots a Lock on the fly. Yep. Missed that, but, uh... Nice shot at the left ramp there. And it's Gorby, another Gorby reject. Man, this, these, uh, these pop-up games are set up steep, man. There's no walk in the park shooting some of these shots. There's a nice shot to the lock. And there's the spot passenger. So Jason has two passengers left. Santa and Gorby to light the jackpot. Unfortunately, he's already shot Gorby three times or so, and it's yet to give it to him, but, uh... That's the way it goes. There's a nice ramp shot, and we're back in multi-ball. Oh, there's a danger. A little slap save. Jason got the ball trapped on the right flipper. And, oh, almost, almost. This game plays really fast and steep. It's really hard. If you notice, the flippers don't go up very high, and it's really hard to get balls trapped on these flippers. Oh, almost. Oh, one passenger left, Gorby. Very, very nice slap save there by Jason. Very nice. Oh, ball's locked in the expressway. She dragged for 300,000. Nice. So now Jason has the ramp slip for 100,000. He also just needs Gorby for the jackpot. So let's see what he does. And there's another rejected Gorby shot. Man, he's must be getting frustrated by now. There's a hundred thousand ramp. Yeah, uh, yet another Gorby shot that doesn't register. Here we go. Ball control on each flipper. He's trying to that Gorby shot again. Resulted in a drain. Now, I'm not sure what Jason was doing there. Extra ball definitely is turned off. Looks like he was shooting at it and paid the price with a quick right out lane drain. Next up, ball two is for Robert Gagno. His first ball went by pretty quick, so he pretty much got nothing done. All right, Robert got the 1,000 skill shot. Oh, and a drain straight out of the cab lanes. That was a tough break for Robert. Nothing you can do about that. Well, maybe didn't seem like he put much of an effort in saving that. Maybe he got a couple warnings and saved that. But uh, Robert's uh, more of a finesse player than a physical player. So uh, and here's Keith Johnson. Hits Gorby on the uh, skill shot.
Oh, ni nice save. Flipper error, but a nice recovery and a nice outland save by Keith there. <laughs> Another nice save on the failed left ramp shot. Here's Keith catching his breath. Uh, some frantic play there, second there. And he's keep trying a post pass, which only Jason so far has successfully done. Keith trying really hard to lock that ball. Oh, oh man. Brutal pinbot drop target drain. Keith Elwin on ball three. He'll go for the full plunge, going for the uh, 300,000, but it gets the three times 75. At this point, uh, I definitely take it. this point, giving up on the post pass and just trying to get the ball to left flipper any way I can. And we shot to the lock. Right here, uh, I reckon it's another full plunge and another three times 75K. It all adds up. Best thing you can do in a tournament final is just try to put up a consistent score. I'm not trying to set any world records here. And there's barely a ramp shot to start multi-ball. And a quick outlink drain. Uh, not much accomplished there on that multi ball. Now, in order to relight the lock, I gotta shoot Santa here, so let's see. Looks like I'm trying to hit the right ramp to get it over the right flipper. Now, I'm trying to find that post pass like Jason found earlier, and it's just not working. Having a little trouble finding that Santa shot. Isn't it a shot you shoot too often? And there's a right ramp reject on a seemingly good shot. There's kind of another pseudo post pass. A lot of trouble hitting that Santa shot, and finally a well deserved outland drain. Here's Jason on ball three. He has a million six. Keith Elwin, three and a half million. So Jason here didn't carry passengers over in his last ball, so now he has to start all over. So he's really got nothing lit here. So I imagine he's just going to be uh, trying to do a spot pass here. I'm not. No, he did a semi full plunge. Go for the 50,000 times three. So now he has to shoot two of these. Uh, more difficult shots, you know, pinbot targets, which uh, can be quite deadly, and Gorby shot, which doesn't seem to work very well in this machine. And it looks like Jason is going for the Gorby shot, and he got it. Nice shot. So now lock is lit. Jason trying for that right lock shot. Not having much luck hitting it on the fly. There we go. Jason go for the full plunge. Gets to 75 times three. At this point, Jason has a nice lead over uh, Robert and Kiefer, so uh, all these points on the skill shot help. Trying to uh, 
flipper pass it over to the right flipper and shoot the ramp on the fly, which does not work on this game. Hey, another nice post pass by Jason. He seems to be the only one that has the post pass dialed in on this game. And it looks like Jason's going to be aggressive and try to knock out passengers during multiple rather than going for the expressway, which is a pretty good strategy at this point. Yep. Lost that ball. That was quick. So now Jason has to complete one of the drop target banks to relight lock. Oh, there's a dead <laughs> Those Maryland targets are deadly, man. You saw Jason shot that left target, and the ball made a beeline to that left out lane, but fortunately for him, it bounced right back out. But uh, now he's got uh, Maryland picked up, and he's got lock lit. Let's see if he picks up Sam. No, looks, I'm not sure what he's doing here. Oh, another nice save on that deadly ramp. Oh, beautiful, beautiful out lane save. Oh, nope. Three in a row wasn't in the cards, but... This is definitely a solid game by Jason. Jason has two and a half million. Robert has a hundred thousand. Robert has a lot of work to do. Let's see, uh, see what he does in his skill shot here. And it looks like Robert is soft plunging. Not sure why. Especially on ball three when the skill shot is worth triple. That is uh, probably not the best move, but uh, let's see what he has in store. Just kind of a pseudo. Oh! Wow. So Robert trying to get the ball over the left flipper for the lock. Just lost the ball straight down the middle. And tough break. Not a very good game for Robert. Keith Johnson, he's about two million behind Jason for second place, and three million behind Keith Elwin. Keith is lock lit, but no passengers carried over, so uh, let's see what his, his strategy is. So Keith goes for the full, almost full plunge. The 50k times three. Oh, and Santa, Santa gobblehole. Tough break for Keeper. So round two, Keith Allen four points, Jason Wardrick picked up two, Keith Johnson picked up one, and Robert Gagno picked up zero. And that concludes our taxi. Thanks for listening.